let's go fishing with complete angler. Fishermen love to travel. You know, it's that adventure of going to place, but packing and getting your rods there, that can be a real issue. So I've got Lofty from Complete Angler in Ringwood, who does a lot of traveling, to show us a couple of tips, mate. What's the deal? Okay, one of the first things you need to do is contact your airline or the bus or whoever you're traveling with and find out what the maximum length you're allowed to take with you. And one of the tricks that the airlines do to people is they go, okay, maximum length, 1.8 meters. Yep, no worries. And the guy goes, nah, you can't take it. And he goes, why? He says, it won't fit in our diagonal cage. Because the tube is this fat here and this fat here, oh, of you've actually lost another 50 or 60 mil. So my recommendation is, is you find out what the length is, bring it down that 50, 100 mil, and then when you get to the airport, you won't be told, no mate, no rods. Bandages, see you can get these tubes like these, and you just push them here like this, pull out a pin, and then you can pull the, t the sections out. So yep. you can have your tube whichever length you are permitted. Okay, so you stick it to your length and there we go, okay, you can that's shorten it down. Shorten it down. The next thing we're gonna do is get our rods, rod bags. Put them in a rod bag. If you don't have your rod bag, get a sheet, get something. Put something in between all the rods. And lots of people, they go, okay, no worries, line it up, and they put all their rods into their rod tube like this, boom, into it goes, sit it there, and then they put a couple of straps around it, and they go, oh, beauty. And what have the airline done? They've dropped it on the end like this. And what's it done? Smashed all Smashed the Smashed the ends of the rods. So, so the all then? these si sensitive bits, we've got to protect. Simple answer. We get our rods and we get two of them and we turn them upside down. And we make sure that we've got a butt ah. section, a solid big thick piece like this, which we can't break, sitting up past our, our top of our rods. Solid at both ends. So, and then what do we got this in? We've got the same. Can you grab one of those straps for me? Yep. And take that nice and tight to get around the, 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 the grip part there. Yep. There we are. So wrap it nice pull, and tight. pull it nice and tight there. And at this end, there we are, in there like that. So now we can grab our rods, we can place them into our tube, which we have our cloth around. And if they're in here like this and they're all wobbly, we get that extra shirt, that extra pair of socks, that towel, and we jam it in here. Filled it up with all my heavy lures, put the skinny tube inside my fat tube. Now we've got 22 kilos of rods and jigs. Extra lures. There's these, the, the locks on here. Yes, they're good and secure, but I don't trust the airlines. So I get my packing tape here, and I go round and round each one of my joints. So they can't just whip a pin out and whip my lures out or whip my yep. rods out, no problem. So you gaffer tape it as well? Gaffer tape it, put my name on it. I actually write my name on the tape every second or third layer I've covered myself. It's little tips like that that will make your trip so much better because if you break your rods it's over like Red Rover. Let's go fishing with complete angler.